one cannot stand passively before the great mysteries of existence and hope that one will somehow be blessed by providence with wisdom and do so on no more substantial grounds that one is sufficiently beauteous as to be worthy of such an endowment but this is precisely the manner in which the feminine aspect of mind in both sexes stands before all things in nature to have to fight for something to have to march into conscious battle for some ideal or goal is a thing entirely foreign to the feminine it is indeed contrary to the whole pathos of the feminine that any thing any benefit any object of desire should not be naturally bestowed upon it merely as a consequence of its existence the formula is expressive of the most pristine egotism feminine equals worthiness equals fate it is not without considerable angst however that women being predominantly feminine live this kind of passivity the average woman lives in constant fear that she is indeed unworthy of all that ought be her natural due when life does not proceed in such a way as would befit her station aside from her often incounselable indignance she is consumed with doubt as to her worthiness ah, but wait this is not quite the truth of it one can easily go astray on this point it is not her worthiness she doubts but more accurately her femininity for this is the spring from which her worth issues if she is to be granted those things which nature and man have conspired to ordain as rightly hers namely anything she desires then she must be as perfectly as she can that which is known to her as the beneficiary of the gifts of god and man that is to say she must be feminine but herein lies the most significant difference between the sexes that which sets them apart in both poetic effect and in practical reality man is made worthy by what he achieves woman by being most properly what she is feminine it is one of the great ironies of the history of humanity that man has built so much of his own worth on the back of one of his greatest achievements one of the greatest expressions of imagination and romantic ideation that one might believe possible of even the greatest of gods that is the social fiction of woman it's ironic in that man finds worth for himself in the creation of a thing that finds its own worth in being a thing created an ideal is not something that is within the reach of minds that are simply passively willing it is something that must be attained by the exercise of will itself there is a vast difference between the exercising of will and merely being willing it is the difference between passivity and activity it is the difference between the feminine and the masculine one must forge an understanding with one's own sweat and blood and the awe of one's reason and not be content to buy it as some handsome trinket from a fancy jewellery store i tell you the world is full of counterfeit knowledge one must take nature and one's own mind by the throat and violently shake the truth out of them one cannot settle for half measures one must pursue knowledge wisdom and the character that only comes through aggressive and uncompromising introspection with a will and a purpose that is unmistakably a characteristic of the masculine in man and is contrarywise unmistakably not of the nature of the feminine <laughs>